Okay. When I'm asked to evaluate flat work, well, flat work is usually the garage floor. And flat work is usually the patio, but this is all part of the foundation. And when I'm evaluating cracks in flat work or in concrete for that, for that matter, I've got a, a handful of guidelines that I use, okay? And those guidelines are, does the crack get wider at the perimeter or more narrow at the perimeter? We want to see it narrower at the perimeter, and that's what I've been seeing. Are the cracks larger than a 32nd of an inch? And I'm not seeing anything here that really seems to me as being larger than a 36th of an inch, except for that right there. That's kind of interesting. Are the cracks wider than a 32nd of an inch in more than one location? And I'm not seeing them wider than a 32nd of an inch in more than one location. And is the crack in plane? Okay, do I trip on this? Do I catch my foot on this? And so this crack is narrow at the perimeter. It's only wider than a 32nd of an inch in one single location, not more than one location. And the crack is in plain. The builder will tell you concrete gets hard and cracks. It does two things. And he's right. <laughs> but it's a true it's a true story. So you'll probably never see this crack because the floor covering is going to be over it. When this foundation was poured, they put a poly or some other vapor barrier. Uh, what's the yellow stuff called? But anyway, they put a vapor barrier underneath the foundation. They do it for code. They do it for energy efficiency. So, I mean, that's a good thing. And different municipalities have different requirements, okay? But the International Residential Code doesn't require your vapor barrier underneath your garage floor. It doesn't require it underneath the driveway. Now, a cause and effect about having a vapor barrier underneath the concrete concrete gets hard and it cracks it doesn't matter but these cracks like what we're seeing okay become more prominent or more obvious or more common okay they happen more frequently is the word I'm looking for <laughs> but they ha more frequently because you have the poly. The poly is a good thing. The vapor barrier is a good thing. You're going to have, <clears throat> and again, cause and effect, you're going to have a few more smaller cracks. And the reason why I'm going through this whole speech is because you're probably not going to carpet or put tile over your garage floor or your driveway. And <clears throat> I don't know how they're going to install the driveway. Again, I heard that the vapor barrier was installed beneath the garage floor. So, don't be surprised if you have some of these typical cracks. It's not going to be an issue. Shouldn't be an issue, I'll put it that way. Now, your neighbors aren't going to come over and say, like, you've got some of those typical cracks. Why don't I have some of those typical cracks? It's probably not going to go down like that. And I'm not promising you that you absolutely will get a crack on your garage floor. But if you start seeing something like what we're looking at in here, okay, keep an eye on it look at it I don't know poke it <laughs> but it's nothing to be alarmed about okay it just kind of is what it is I want to explain to you a little bit about how and why we're seeing this